people are putting so much weight on the content. Yes, it's important, okay, but even more importantly is the fact that you're sending something out. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about my weekly email. I wanna give you a, a couple of ideas that I've been incorporating into my weekly email. And also at the end of this video, I wanna share with you a clip from a recent Q&A that I did uh, where an agent was asking me about the content that I create and how to retain clients. How I use the email to retain the clients. How do I keep people interested in the email week after week after week after week? See, that's something that I've, I've really executed really well, is keeping people's attention every single week, keeping them in, engaged, keeping them involved, keeping them wanting to open my email to see what's gonna be there. I think that that's key, but um, I don't feel like that's the whole thing, okay? So many of you are worried about the content, and what you don't realize is most of your clients who are going to do business with you in six months to a year to five years out aren't opening your emails right now. They see it in their inbox. They know that it's consistent. They're just not ready yet. They're going to open it when they get ready in six months to a year to five years. They're going to start opening it then. People are putting so much weight on the content. Yes, it's important, okay, but even more importantly is the fact that you're sending something out. So step one is to get consistent with the email regardless of the content. Okay, I just want you to start pushing something out. Don't wait. I think that's the biggest problem because every week that you wait, there could potentially be someone that's in your database that's looking to buy or sell that you're missing out on. That's gonna go to another agent because they're forgetting who you are little by little. Okay, so the whole point of this weekly email is to build personal brand. Personal brand is the main point of this. Okay, and, and to build personal brand, you have to have original, consistent content on whatever platform you use, whether it's email, social media, you know, uh, texting, phone calls, postcards, you know, whatever. It has to be original, consistent content. That's the two ingredients of personal branding. So a couple of new ideas I've been incorporating in my email lately is I've been doing a restaurant of the month every month. So you have four weeks in a month, one of those weeks, I'm doing a restaurant of the month. I've uh, been doing this for about two months now. It's just something I'm just kind of testing out. I'm always trying new things. I figured I would share it with you. You can try it out on your email and test it out and see if it's something that people like. I normally have a picture, a link to their website and their, their menu. And then also I write a little story, maybe like two or three sentences about how I've been going there or me and my wife went there and we really like this or we do this or whatever it is. Just a little story, people love stories. Another thing I've been incorporating also on top of the restaurant of the month, I've also been doing a listing of the month. Okay, so I'm gonna showcase a listing. This could be your listing, could be someone else's listing. You can showcase anyone's listing in MLS. Okay, anything in MLS, you have the right to market that. If it's not your listing, it would be good to contact the agent and tell them you're gonna do it. They're gonna want you to do it. They're gonna want you to advertise their listing, but it'd be good to at least notify them that you're doing it before you do it, if you do it, okay? But they're gonna be happy with you doing that. Um, so anyway, pick out a great listing. You don't want this to be just an ordinary average listing. Pick out something good, pick out something unique, pick out something interesting that's gonna draw attention. This is what we want, we want attention. Okay, so those are two just ideas that I've been using here lately just to kind of mix it up a little bit that you can start incorporating into your email. I hope that sparks something for you and you can kind of incorporate that in what you're doing. Now, as far as what I incorporate in my, my weekly email content, top to bottom, and what I do to actually try to grab the attention and retain those people and my clients and my prospects and my friends, these people should be an extended part of your family. Anyway, here's the clip of that Q&A about how I retain clients and all my content from top to bottom. Please do me a favor, like this video, shoot me a comment, let me know what you think and enjoy. Every email has a, a big picture at the top of the beach or something in my market, and it's always different. So concerning your weekly emails, um, I guess this could go for all social media, but in particular when I'm doing my emails every week, the one thing that I am running into a problem with is creating original content that I feel like 
I'm keeping my clients engaged and they want to continue opening up my email. Um, I want to keep it on brand with who I am. What do you do or what types of things do you put in your emails to keep it so that it's not the same thing every week and you're keeping it fun and exciting for your clients? To answer your question, every email has a, a big picture at the top of the beach or something in my market and it's always different and so the first thing they see when they open up the email is something different every time okay and then they scroll down then there's links there's links to the new listings for the last two weeks you can search property and then there's a webcam a live cam okay then I have two columns one column is everything for sale it goes to the different links in my area I have three different subcategories of areas, so they can click on that. It goes to my a web page that shows them all the complexes, all the subdivisions. They click anywhere they want to see what's for sale in those different places. The right column is, is what I spend the most time on each week besides the, the picture at the top. And this is where I may talk about square foot prices this year compared to last year, or I may talk about you know tourism up, or an event in the area, or what I think about the market or something I see, or I showed a buy or something, and this is what happened. Um, and so that, that is where I can throw little pieces of my personality in there, in that little area. On top of the fact that they, they know that I'm changing everything around, different pictures, different, different content. Um, someone asked me earlier about my email because I had an article uh, about um, how there were 10% more rooms booked last year to this year is because the sports tourism went up way up in my area year over year and she said where did you get that information I literally googled my my area Orange Beach and hit and click news and then all these articles pop up then you read through them and find something very interesting right so you can do that one week you can evaluate the market this year compared to last year so you're always switching it up where you have the analytical people they get what they want and the people that want to know about you know different things it's all there so when people open up my email the reason i'm able to retain and have such a great open rate is because it gives you a little bit of everything so some people open it up because they want to see what that picture is going to be they literally just want to see what the new picture is going to be or they want to know what the new listings are for the last week or the pin the closed deals in their subdivision they check it every week and so there's a there's a little little pieces of different things where I can capture a, a real diverse audience you know I, I can retain a very diverse audience with one email and that scales my business and makes my business efficient because I send one thing to my entire database and, and it captures everyone so I think the creating creating it every week is a big huge thing for me because that, that creates the retention because it's nothing they've ever seen before when you do the drip campaigns where four realtors have sent it out to the same person on the same day at the same time and you know, they see your name that's actually hurting your personal brand because they just they said they see they saw that four eight four agents sent it to them at the same time the same email um, you know the drip campaign type uh, they, they, they can be utilized and be effective, but this is just something that's worked for me.